NCAA championships in just a week and a half. Mike Cousins, Anthony Robles, Quinn Kesnick. Our penultimate matchup of the night takes us to 157 pounds. Two guys with plenty of experience on the college stage. Jared Brennan from North Dakota State is the lone finalist for the Bison here in Tulsa. He'll take on Caden Gefeller, the redshirt senior out of Oklahoma State, the number two seed. Already a two-time Big 12 champion back in 2019 and 2022. Both of those at 149 pounds. A lot more to his story, and we'll get into that as the night goes along. And Frenick, from just outside of Fargo, went to West Fargo High School, the number one seed here. Has lost in the Big 12 Finals to David Carr each of the last two years. Carr bumping up. He'll be in our finale at 165. So this is a bit of a sigh here for the competitors at 157 to see go, Carr guys. out of their weight class this year. Congratulations. Have a great match. Here we go. Come on, whistle. And off we go with Frannick looking to be North Dakota State's third wrestler to win a Big 12 champion ch championship. Shot there by Franny. Oh, that single two, leg covered across the corner. Yeah, good job. Drop Didn't down. Take one. <laughs> drop down two. Drop down. Something you notice, Gafella, he had dropped down to that three-point stance, stayed low. That's something can can really confuse and frustrate a lot of opponents, right? You're, it's hard to get your offense, your, your, your takedowns draws. going because you're so low. But Franny adjusted his level and blasted through. The penetration behind that shot was impressive. Tough matchup for Frannick in the semifinals. Against the number four seed, Cale Swenson of South Dakota State. A 3-2 victory to earn his spot here against Gefeller. Went to overtime in the semis against Jacob Wright of Wyoming. A high intensity finish to that matchup. Effort center here. See a hard snap there center. by Gefeller working front edge over position. He's trying to dig in. Right side underhook, but Frannick kept that elbow Stay sealed on there in. Now. Stay on there. That was a tough stall call there against Frannick. Frannick has been a part of a good surge of the Bison program under Roger Kish in his 12th season. You go back to a couple years ago. One of three wrestlers in the field for the Bison. Most they've had in more than 20 years. Here we go, bud. I like how Frannick, he's standing on the Thank attack you. of that right leg of Gefella. Every time Gefella posts out in a three-point stance, that leg that's kind of sitting out Hold. to the side, he'll circle and attack it. Roger Kish yesterday in a consolation match. Those fingers up over there. Shake them out. You know, it's spring Thank training you. for baseball pitchers. Center here fighting it. Uh, he's Good. in full regular season mode. He, he threw his brick all the way across the mat like a fastball yesterday. Center. He was fired up. Fight center. A lot of energy this weekend, that's for sure. It's been fun and a prelude of things to come here in Tulsa. <laughs> out action. Neutral. Hold here. Fingers, guys. Caden Gefeller out, down one. Back for his red shirt senior guys, year. Fingers. And after the 2022 season, he announced formally that he would not be coming back to college wrestling, but now back for a sixth year, looking to become an All-American. Now, part of that was that he's got a daughter now, Charlotte. And that really changed the equation for him. So he went to go work a full-time job back home, Oklahoma City, during the summer for a medical DJ, sales stop. company. And he said he missed the team. He really missed being with his Green. daughter during the day. Go he had to get up early, go do that. Go ahead. And said that when he came back to school, he weighed 200 pounds. Here he is wrestling at 157. And a good outlook on it, especially with 
guys having the extra year of eligibility with the COVID year. He said, you know what? I've got my whole life left to work, but only one more year left to wrestle. And they welcomed him back into the lineup. Well, it's definitely awesome to see him back in the lineup and competing tonight. And wrestling, it's a sport that demands so much Stay from you there, physically, center. mentally. You put so much into it. Sometimes you can you get worn down. So just that opportunity for Gefeller to kind of step away to miss the sport again. You can see tonight, he's, he's recharged. He's got that love for the sport back. Right on in, you're fine. I wonder what his sleep schedule is like, though. You know it, too. You've got a newborn at home. i got an eight-week-old, and I'm on night diaper <laughs> duty, so... <laughs> just probably sleeping three hours every so often. <laughs> Mike Cousins along with Anthony Robles, a former national champion at 125 pounds. Quinn Kesnick reporting here in Fingers Tulsa. Guys, our second-to-last weight class of the night. Gefeller looking to add to the trophy cabinet for the Cowboys after Dustin Plott and Dayton Fix picked up Big 12 championships tonight as well in their respective weight classes. A minute to go here in the second, and it's Frannick by two. Go, action the score. See what Frank keeps doing. He's circling to his right, getting Gefeller to kind of step with that leg that's extended and he'll try to go for a sweep. Staying on those attacks. Gefeller, he wants to get to the underhooks, but both guys are doing a good job just getting tangled up here. Frank's just tying up those elbows, staying in good position. The number one seed, Jared Frannick in the lead, looking to join Cam Sikora and Luke Weber as the only North Dakota State wrestlers to win a Big 12 title. And the advantage will remain his into the final two minutes. Set. Hold. Wednesday in the NBA, a doubleheader starts in New Orleans. The Pelicans hosting the Mavs, 7.30 Eastern. And then in L.A., it's the Raptors and the Clippers. Coverage starts with NBA Countdown, 7 Eastern on ESPN in the app. Lead down to just one for Frannin. Hands up. Red, morning red. Everything coming up. North Dakota State at the moment there with a stall warning against Gefeller. The takedown for Frannick. Excellent level change by Frannick. Getting down Green, low enough, dropping that double and cutting the corner quickly. Last year on the mat for a Gefeller. Last minute here for a Big 12 title. Stay center. Already a stall warning on each in a two-point match. See the hand fighting right on center. that left side. Frannick's just giving Gefeller fits. Every time he tries to set something up, he's controlling the wrist again. He's not able to get that hand free to get the shots that he wants. surface stop things now 10 seconds to go it's down to this at 157 pounds Frannick returns to the center and that does it at 157 pounds Jared Frannick of North Dakota State your big 12 champion good match there by Frannick making the adjustments Feller's dropping low on that on his knee. 
Craddock was able to get his level change, find the angle that he needed to to get his takedowns. And he controlled the hand fighting, didn't allow Goodfellow the opportunity to get to his underhooks or those shots. Good job, Frannick. So perhaps not the same rosy reception he might have received in Fargo with a very pro Oklahoma State crowd here. But you'll see both of these guys in short order at the NCAA championships as well. One finalist for the Bison, Jared Frannick, is a winner, and he's over to the interview corner. Fargo's finest gets it done on enemy soil. What, what do you think made the difference? Uh, just my training, man. I'm ready for it. These big moments. This is my third go around in the finals, and I didn't get what I wanted the last two times. So I knew what to expect, and just being ready to go and anticipate a battle, which you gave me. So I was going to ask you that. Uh, two times you, you've come to this and didn't get it done. Tonight you did. What, what, what's the feeling of accomplishment like? I mean, it's awesome, but you know the ultimate goal from the start of this year. From the start of the end of last year, I guess, was be a national champ. So this is just a little stepping stone in the in the path to that. And let's run it back in two weeks here. Let's do the same thing. Congratulations. Perhaps a dress rehearsal. <laughs>